Hey guys, I just thought. Oh, let's redo this. Hey guys, I thought I would just do a quick channel update. If you're not a regular watcher of my content, then you probably don't care about this. So, anyway. Hey guys, Gunfun ZS here. Just gonna do a channel update. So, um. I'm assuming if you're watching this that you're a regular watcher of my content and you appreciate what I make. Um, thanks. That's flattering and humbling and sometimes amazing to me that as many people have watched my videos as have. And thank you. Um, as of a couple weeks ago, I actually, um, after only 12 years, broke a thousand viewers. Um, currently today I have 1,022. I wanted to do some kind of cool giveaway or contest or something when I hit a thousand and I just couldn't think up anything cool that I had the time and money to do. So um, if I do think up something, I will figure out a cool way to give it away and if I don't, I won't and uh, props to you guys who do come up with cooler stuff than me. Um, I think this is just kind of fascinating. I really enjoy looking at the analytics of the channels. Um, you see here, I've got 1.7 million watch minutes by now, and uh, let's see, 612,000 views. I never quite completely understood how Google adds up partial views and everything to constitute a view, and I've never been paid, and I've never begged for subscribers. Not that anything's wrong with getting paid or asking for subscribers, but I figured since I'm not being a a person who's putting the work into making a high quality production value channel with regular updates, that it's not really reasonable for me to beg for subscribers or contributions or that kind of thing. For the people who are putting in that kind of work, I think it's completely justified. I'm just not them. Um, maybe someday I will choose to be, but it's not in any of my current plans. Um, so anyway, let's talk about what I'm doing with the channel. Well, most of you have noticed I haven't uploaded anything in a while. That doesn't mean I haven't wanted to. I've just been really busy. I've got a day job. I'm an attorney and a newlywed, and I've got a lot of paying work that I need to keep up with, and a lot of people that I have obligations to do that are a lot more than um, what people call fake internet points. So this for me is play and um, I run this channel because usually I found out something with hard work that wasn't immediately available in a good source somewhere else and I wanted to put compile the information I found or perhaps a discovery I made personally into a format that people will view and appreciate and share and thereby increasing the available knowledge. I also do the same thing in forum or blog type posts um, on usually forumpsycho12.com, vepr.org where I'm a moderator, or now on the Reloaders Network. Um, I do basically any topic that interests me and fits those um, intersects of somebody else hasn't done it better that I'm aware of or something that interests me and hasn't been fully discussed or there's an aspect that's unresolved or the information is scattered. So it might be motorcycles, it might be something relating to dance or literature or making knives, um, it might be antiques or racing cars. A lot of my content has been gun based but that's far from my only interest. Um, if I was spending a lot more time doing some of my old hobbies like paintball, you'd see a lot more of that. So let me just show you a cue of some of the videos that I've either partially made or written out scripts for that I plan to make. This is in, by no means a promise that I will make those because I found if one thing guarantees that I won't get a video made, it's telling somebody that it, eh, I intend to make it in the near future. Something will always interrupt some component of that. Anyway, there's this one, which is channel status. There's the strikes and takedown video, which I just shot. There's one that I'm calling in my head, Not Your Weapons, um, which
which I will be shooting right after I make this video. Uh, there's one tentatively titled, Don't Be a Powder Measure Breaking Idiot Like Me. There is a project that I've about half done the first draft up called Converting Catamount Fury Mags to work in a Saiga 12 with a JTE Magwell. This is a, as crude and bubba a gunsmithing video as you could possibly consider, and I'm sure to a lot of people it would be very janky and offensive. Um, Another one is a sort of homage to Fortune Cookie, which is the goodness of box and drum magazine-fed shotguns, and then probably a follow-up video to that of the goodness of semi-auto box-fed shotguns. Uh, another video that I'd like to do would be Tempering Alloys, how to and what to expect. If you're interested in this, TATV Canada has some really good videos on age hardening of lead that are worth following. Um, when a good load stops working, and then I'm going to use as an example of that a 9mm load that I've been doing for years that suddenly for no explicable reason started keyholing. Um, and basically, what do we do about it? How do we find what's going on? Um, a video on broad concepts called uh, proportion, small percentages of big numbers and big percentages of small numbers. Um, one on the new Russian slug molds, which um, Thorzak's kind of scooped me on. And uh, so I may table that one if he does that topic better than me, um, which is very likely. And another one would be what to do with implausible load data. So I've noticed that some published load data just doesn't make sense when you compare it to other ones, or um, maybe the components don't even fit in the case. I've noticed like a lot of the Lee shotgun data that they publish with their molds, if you add up the wad and the powder and the slug, it's sticking an inch and a half out of the shell, and even if you collapse the, the wad down in, it still barely fits. Um, and I kind of wonder, how did they come up with that? Were they just guesses? I'm not super comfortable with those. Um, I, I've seen some other pistol and rifle data that's kind of similar, where there's something just very obviously wrong with it, and other people maybe report using it, and so what do we do about that? Um, another one is, I guess, my opinions about what makes a good rifle scope, which you know, there's a lot of people who seem to be a lot more qualified than me on this, but I, I think I've got a different perspective from practical use from what a lot of other people have. And uh, I just like to put my thoughts out there and get feedback back from people. Um, another one is a non-gun video that I've made and remade in my head dozens of times over the last probably four years called Straight Razors and Elitism or possibly the Emperor's New Clothes and Guy Hobbies. Um, and then there'd be a general theory of reloading video, principles for system evaluation. I'd want to look at basically the prime factors I consider whether something is worth doing and whether it should be improved. Is the method consistent? Um, how much of your human attention span does it require? And um, the more parts to the item or the process, the more errors add up. And there's a couple aspects to that that I'd discuss. An actual measure of performance as opposed to assumption that you're getting better performance for more effort. And all things equal, the simpler system and the cheaper system is better. Okay, then another one would be a um, basically long-term owner's report of the Lee Loadmaster price. I've had mine since 2012, 13 or 14, I'd have to go back and look. And it's easily got over 80,000 rounds through it. And I just like to shit and say uh, what I've found with it, what I would change, and give a general owner's report. Um, which things I wouldn't buy again, which things I would buy spares of, that sort of thing. Um, 
the too long don't read version would be, I think it was very worth buying and I would totally buy it again. And even with the current offerings on the market, I th still think it's one of the strongest contenders out there. Maybe not the most popular opinion. Um, I would not say the same for something like a Lee Pro 1000, and I have some concerns about the new Lee sort of progressive e-press that they just released, which is an interesting thing, but I think it adds a lot of stuff that, that I would still be inclined to get the Loadmaster instead. Um, one on a modified tool for helping with cartridges like 300 Blackout and alignment to the powder measure in a press, like a progressive reloading setup. Um, a video on steps for success to cast bullets and a video that I shot most of the footage for back in maybe 2015 of how to install a headlight conversion kit for a motorcycle and I just need to edit that up and probably do some voiceover. Um, a review that I promised people to do a long time ago of the various CSS specs shotgun magazines. A general survey of the available magazines for Sega 12s and related shotguns. A continuing series of videos on my 300 Blackout custom bullet project. Um, I, I've been wanting to participate in several different people's shooting challenges like Eagle Eyes Milk Jug Challenge or Pop Can Challenge um, and other things that strike my fancy that you guys suggest. Anyway, I'm open to your feedback and if you've watched this far through and there's something you'd like to hear from me about, let me know. I'll fit it in if I can and if I can't, I'm sorry. Um, have a good day, guys.